um hi guys long time no see welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video it's been a while and i don't know when this video is even going to go up if ever so right now at the time of filming this it is october 10th i think i stopped vlogging in july maybe beginning of july so it's been like july august september and a little bit of October. So three and a half ish months since I have filmed anything. Basically, I just wanted to like sit down and pour out all of my thoughts in one place. Just do like a big thought dump and like let you guys know where I'm at. I get a lot of messages every day to my Instagram and like comments on my YouTube, comments on my Instagram photos, replies on my Instagram stories, and everybody's just like, where are you? What's going on? Are you coming back? Etc. So yeah, I feel like I just want to like kind of let everybody know where I'm at and like talk through my thoughts if that makes sense and also I want to start off by saying I am not pregnant I'm not getting a divorce and we are all healthy and well <laughs> like everything is fine I'm just not doing YouTube or like social media anymore I know there are so many people who are convinced that I am pregnant and like trying to do a Kylie Jenner I get like at least one of those messages a day um and also a lot of people who are like assuming that I'm going through a divorce because I've just been like missing and none of those things are true sorry to disappoint we just recently took um like updated family photos for the first time in a while and my husband was in them and i did get like a few messages that were like oh my god like i thought you were getting divorced uh but there's your husband and you guys look perfectly happy and also i'm not pregnant i'm not trying to pull a kylie jenner on anyone we're still trying to decide if we are gonna have more or not i feel like to a lot of you guys this is not really like a huge surprise it seems like i was like really headed in this direction for like the past i don't even know how long but like it's been a conversation that has come up a lot of times on my youtube channel about like trying to navigate social media with kids and doing youtube with kids and things like that and i started doing youtube when i was super young i mean i started as like early as high school and then i was doing it again while i was in beauty school and then i really like dove into it and became like very serious about it when I got pregnant with my first. I loved recording my whole pregnancy journey and talking about pregnancy and like babies. And then it just kind of like went on from there, like progressed naturally to birth and then about babies and newborns and everything that I was going through as a first time mom and baby products. And it's just evolved into regular like day in the life vlogs and like vlogs with a baby and like me just kind of like sharing my motherhood journey with you guys it just kind of like got into it like not ever intending to be like sharing so much of my life but like it just it's just how it happened you know and i have loved it and i've loved connecting with all of you guys and i feel like i've met so many people and made so many like really great friends and there's so many positives to like doing what i've been doing and like sharing your life and everything like that um i know that like when i was in all of those phases i was really really wanting somebody else to relate to and so like being the person for other people to relate to i think that there's a really positive side to that and like showing people like a realistic life and like what to expect and what's going on and then we had another baby and then you know sharing the dynamic of two babies and having two under two and toddlers and how to start solids and just you know everything that goes on with everything and then we got really into showing the whole process of building our house and like the home building journey and it's all i mean it's all just been really fun but it has just been just sharing like every aspect of our lives with the internet and now i've been like really reflecting on that and how like interesting that is and I, it feels different now i don't know i don't know i think anybody who has actually like really kept up with my channel and watched my videos like you know that we are not like a family vlog channel at all it's always really been based about me and like what i'm doing how i'm feeling whatever whatever and then it's also been about the kids because it's been basically like a me and my motherhood journey channel which is obviously me talking about my kids and when they were smaller and babies and i was definitely like sharing a lot of like video clips of them and talking a lot about them and even back then i was i think a lot more private than like other creators in a way like i know a lot of people were making like monthly milestone videos like look what my baby did last month like they learned how to do this this and this and i always thought that was like too much you know it's like you don't need to share that much so as i've gotten bigger and like the more aware i've become of like the internet and the effects of like showing so much like i definitely like i dialed it back a lot over time and it went from you know me 
showing them a lot in my videos to like showing them very little in my videos and like you would see them like in the background of the videos here and there but it was never like me purposefully like facing the cameras at them i mean i would do it sometimes but it was definitely like i was aware of it and i was actively trying to avoid that but then it would get tricky sometimes when you're doing like sponsored content and you are doing sponsored content about like a kid's item and part of that is like showing your kid with the kid item and so that was like a part where things would get like tricky and difficult to navigate but yeah so for the most part you know you would see them like maybe running by in the background but not like being the center or like the focus of anything but i would still talk about them and i would still talk about what we were doing and our routines and like the milestones and like the things that they were dealing with because i was sharing like my experience and like what i was doing all day and like it's just you know you and your kids are so intertwined there's no way to really talk about like you and your experience and what you're going through and whatever without talking about your kids and so the more i tried to like separate them from my content and like separate me and like have it not be about them it just it feels impossible because they are my whole life i am a stay-at-home mom they are what i do all day like my whole life is focused around them right now and so there just is no there is no separation right now so probably a month and a half ago ish somewhere around there i started really going through my videos and taking a lot of them down i kind of took baby steps into this like i first just started taking down videos where they were like too much of the focus of the video took them down and then i just kept going back and taking more and more and more down until now i think the only things i have left up on my channel i'm not even sure if i have the pregnancy ones up anymore or not but i know i took down like all of our vlogs except ones that have to be up for um a certain amount of time for like sponsorship uh purposes and a lot of my advice videos that are just like me sitting and doing more like of a sit down list type of video those are still up and um my book videos are still up i know it's been like very jarring for a lot of people who have been like oh i haven't seen her videos for a while and they come to my channel and everything is gone i know that i've been like on the other side of that too like i have a having a favorite creator who suddenly like disappears and like takes down their whole channel and it's so sad and so i totally understand where everybody is coming from like feeling really upset by that but also i feel like most of my viewers have been like so understanding and like like i was saying earlier they've kind of like see, seen this coming a little bit so mostly the number one biggest reason for all of this is just my kids privacy and trying to make sure that what i'm doing is not going to affect them in any weird ways throughout their life and you know it's just such an interesting thing because there for a while at the end i was making sure that i was not showing them in my videos at all like at least not their faces and it was just you know me vlogging our day without showing the kids and like you would hear them talking or you would like see their little bodies or whatever but i was not showing their faces and i still think even without showing showing their faces it just feels like that's still too much of an invasion of their privacy because it's like yes this is not their face but this is still their life and their day and this is their house and their bedrooms and that's like me folding their laundry and this is their lunch and here's their mother talking about potty training or talking about tantrums or like dealing with hard things in motherhood or whatever like it's just even if i'm not showing their faces it's still showing everything else about their lives even without their face in it it's been interesting too i feel like we moved to this town a little over a year ago and i feel like i have really been like meeting so many people and making so many friends and really becoming like part of the community and you know you have like the thing with friends where you meet and you get to know each other and then you know you start like adding each other on facebook or following each other on social media and it's just having literally every single thing you've ever done and every thought you ever had and like uh, an entire walkthrough video of your house and like everything about your entire life just like right there is just at this point in my life feels weird it didn't used to it, this has never really bothered me before but like now i'm getting to a point where it's like i meet people and maybe they have already seen my videos or like seen things i've put on the internet before before ever even meeting me and it just feels different now like i've had conversations with people of like you know they've seen my entire house and they've never been in it there's just like been instances of like people like 
seeing my entire house and like knowing the layout and knowing what rooms are whose and they've never been here or they've come here for the first time but i've already like seen every part of it and i just want to be more private and i want to like enter my privacy era so having all of that in like the back of my head it just makes me feel like why am i even doing this in the first place like what is my reasoning for for sharing every little detail and thought and like everything that we're doing with our day like why why am i doing this i've been trying to like really think about that and like meditate on that and try to figure out like what it is like sometimes i'm like do i have some like crazy inflated ego where I just like am like obsessed with myself and I like want to like stare at myself in a camera all day and like I just like think that I'm like so cool and important which is like I don't feel that way but I've been trying to figure out like what it is that has made me like do this for so long and I think it's like a lot of different things but I I start to like think about it all too much and I'm like what is wrong with me like why do I think that I need to be like sharing so much about my life like what makes me feel like I'm so important that anybody cares about any of this but then at the same time it's like obviously like people care because i have you know my following and people watch them and people interact and ugh, i my brain is like a merry-go-round of like trying to make sense of anything and then i start to have imposter syndrome of like i am just like a regular 30 year old mom like why am i trying to like keep up with all of these things that other people are doing and i I don't know all of that and then i just i feel like in the last year probably i have just been dealing with a major sense of youtube burnout and social media burnout which is like also another thing that i like often would bring up in my videos is that all of it is very time consuming and it's very like energy draining it's so much time spent on the computer staring at videos of yourself like so much time spent sitting in front of a camera staring at yourself talking to yourself and then there was a moment I was editing a video where I feel like I just had like a moment where I was like, okay, this is not what I need to be doing anymore because I was sitting at the computer editing a vlog or something. This was like, I was not showing the kids in the videos at this point. I'm like editing this vlog and I'm at this point where I am having to like edit out the kids screaming and the kids running around and being crazy. And I'm watching this footage of myself be so frustrated and so like impatient because I'm trying to like do this stupid thing, show my Amazon package and my kids aren't being quiet and I need them to be quiet so I can show my freaking mail haul. I'm like watching this footage back and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, here's this footage of me standing in my kitchen, feeling so frustrated and so impatient that my kids are being kids in the background of my nonsense video where I'm like showing, I don't even know what it was, something dumb, just like me showing my mail and like, look at what I got in my package and uh, my kids are screaming. And I'm like, this just isn't, this isn't what I need to be spending my time on in this phase of my life. All of it, it was just like a full, like full circle moment where I was like, I need to be done. So since then, it has been really, really, really nice. I think it's been really nice for all of us. Um, I don't ever feel like my kids were super affected by me vlogging because I would say most of it would all be done like during their nap time anyway. But a lot of my editing time and stuff, I would try to do it like while they were awake and to have a mom who's not like focused on the computer all the time. I think I'm sure they like that. I'm sure having a present mom who's not staring at the computer all day is like only a pro for my kids. I feel like we all have so much more time. I think that we go out and do things a lot more. Like I don't feel this sense of like pressure to like get things done or to like do things on deadlines or like, oh, I really need to get that video up or like I really need to get that up because I have a sponsorship. I have no deadlines. I am just going with the flow and we're doing all sorts of fun things and there's no pressure to film any of it or to talk about it. It's just feels freeing and i will say those first few weeks of not vlogging it was a weird experience and anytime i got something in the mail i was so used to not opening it right away because i would have to wait until i could film it and so like just opening my packages in the mail look at me opening my mail without showing anybody what's in it and then that just like the fact that that's even like a unique experience is just like, what am I doing? But also on the flip side of that, it's like, I love watching content like that because I still watch YouTube videos. I still keep up with all my people, everything like that. I didn't quit watching YouTube. I just quit making it. But like 
watching people open up their mail and seeing what they got, like what they ordered and opening their packages. I love that shit. I eat that shit up. That's why I was doing it. And I know that, but like just the experience of being like, oh, it's so weird to like open my mail without like doing it in front of a camera. It's just, and just kind of like along with that, like there have been so many things that I have been doing and like, it's always like my first thought or like my first inclination is like, oh, like how can I set up the camera to like film this or, oh, I wanna like share this. Like just the other day I was like putting spooky bats on the mirror in the entryway, like a little Halloween thing. And before it would have been like, okay, I'm gonna film this whole thing, talk about how I'm gonna do this, film me doing it, show the after. And I feel like I have that kind of like inclination about so many things in my life. I'm like, oh, I should show this or I should show this or I'll vlog about this. Like I still have all of those thoughts and I just don't do it. We just do things and don't film them. And I don't Instagram story them either. And it's been very refreshing, but also sometimes it feels kind of sad at the same time. Like it's a conflicting feeling for sure, but generally it's been just refreshing and it's been nice. And I just feel like so peaceful, not feeling like pressure or like feeling like I'm behind all the time or like there's stuff I need to do. Like I don't have anything to edit at nighttime. Like I don't have anything that I need to be doing. There will be like a week where I don't use my computer for like the whole week. It just like, will be like sitting there and like I'll go to open it and it's dead. And I'd be like, oh, I haven't used my computer in three days where like it never used to be like that. It was like always, I was always on my computer, always staring at my computer, always editing something. When the kids went to bed, I would have to like work on something. And so yeah, there's just like a lot of like free time and like a lot of like free, space in my brain if that makes sense so generally i feel like it's been so positive and i have really felt really happy these last couple of months and it's been really freeing i feel like i haven't really touched on like the instagram side of things with this but also i didn't ever really work on instagram if that makes sense like youtube has always felt like this is like my my work thing this is where my money comes from this is where i like put the most of my energy and even when i was like fully in the deep end of YouTube. Instagram has just always kind of felt like just regular Instagram to me. It's not been like work. Although there have been times that I like really tried to like hop on like the real bandwagon and like really tried to like focus on, you know, like monetizing that platform or whatever. But I feel like I always just kind of regressed back to like Instagram just being the same Instagram it is for everybody else. Like I was never like a place where I was doing sponsorships or it didn't feel like work, you know, it felt like just fun. And like also, even though it was like connected to everything else, it's just like still where I have all of my friends and my family. And yeah, I have like a small following on Instagram too, but it's always just felt like my own personal Instagram, if that makes sense. Like I would probably do like a Q and A like once a month on there where I was like very influencer-ish, but I never felt like an influencer on Instagram, if that makes sense. Like it just has always felt like my personal non-business Instagram. But I stopped doing all the Q and A's too, which people have been wondering about, but it's just like kind of loops back to the like imposter syndrome and like, do I have an inflated sense of ego? Like, why do I feel like I need to be like sharing all of this or like putting myself on some pedestal that people would care what I have to say. But then at the same time, I would get like 500 questions. So like, obviously people give a shit, but like also it just like, ugh. Instagram is like the hardest thing for me to try to navigate. Like YouTube, it feels very like open and closed, like, take my videos down, put that away on the back burner, whatever. But like Instagram, it just feels so like personal to me. And because I haven't, like, I don't feel like an Instagram influencer. Like it's very hard for me to like turn that off. And I've considered like maybe just putting it on private, but I do have some like ongoing branded content that I need to do before that is possible. So like I still do some, you know, but it just doesn't still, it just doesn't feel like work the way YouTube does if that makes sense. Like I still have pictures of my kids on there and I'm still posting pictures of my kids on there. And like that, it's just like a weird thing where it feels like less weird to me. Cause it kind of just feels like my Facebook account where I'm like sharing it with my family and friends. And like, here's like our family photos or like here's Hawk's first day of preschool. And like, I know that it is more open than other things. So I need to like figure out a way to, to figure that out. I don't know, but it's less intense over there. I still show like funny moments and cute things on my Instagram stories and stuff, but I've definitely like, I mean, 
I've scaled it so back. And anyway, all that to say, like generally I think it's been really good, but it hasn't been just like flawlessly easy. Like I have felt very, very conflicted at, at times. There's a lot of negatives to all of this too that I felt like really, I feel really wishy-washy sometimes and I go really back and forth because I wrote like a bunch of notes on here. But like the hard parts and my conflicted parts is that like I worked really hard to get here and to give it all up is hard and it feels like squandering like a very rare or unique opportunity and i never claimed to have like any massive following or anything like i know that i am definitely like a micro influencer micro creator <laughs> um but like to me 40,000 plus people 40,000 subscribers i mean that is not an easy thing to do on youtube youtube is a really difficult platform to grow on and so to grow a following and to like work so hard to get somewhere just to like quit and leave it all behind is not an easy thing to do especially like there's just so much work to try to get to like a monetized place on youtube it's not as simple as like once you've reached it you're there forever it's like you have to be always reaching the benchmarks or like the the levels required in order to maintain your um, monetization. So it's definitely possible to let it go and to lose um, that place. And so that's something that I think about a lot. And I'm like, how could I like work so hard to get here and to like monetize this platform and then like let it all go? So yeah, that's a con for sure. That's something I think about, but also like I just, I'll do anything for my kids. So it's like, if I have to like, let it all go, I'll let it all go. It's also really hard to like getting all of the messages and the comments of people saying that they miss me, they miss my content, that they miss seeing my videos and you know, and miss hearing my thoughts on certain things. And I totally feel that too. And I feel like I miss, I miss the connection too. And I miss reading the comments and messaging with you guys. Also on the flip side of that, there is like a little bit of peace of um not feeling the pressure to constantly be like messaging with other people constantly like responding to messages and to comments and things like it can be a bit of like a time suck and it can be like an energy draining thing for me because i am like pretty introverted and so it's like sometimes like the pressure of interacting with people is a lot and so on one hand i like really miss connecting but on the other hand i feel almost relieved not having to like be connecting with people all the time if that makes sense like i feel them both another really really hard part about it is losing the income losing the money losing the free things i don't know why that one is so hard for me because like i don't need free things but like i don't need free things i can buy the things that i want like i don't it doesn't even make sense you know to like feel that way but i do like i love the free things <laughs> and i think it's because i am just like i am like naturally like a cheapskate person and there is just like such a endorphin like dopamine hit of like getting free things and so <laughs> it sounds like so stupid but like just like having people send you free things with like the hope that maybe you might like it and want to share it like it's it's a bummer but also like it's unnecessary and like I don't need those things. It feels like a con, you know? And then also just, you know, my page is still up. My business email is still up. And so I still get so many emails a day and there are like some opportunities and some sponsorships, like some emails that I've gotten recently that I'm like, dang, I would have really, really liked to do that. I just got an email the other day from Haya Vitamins, which are the vitamins I already give my kids. I pay for these super expensive kid vitamins already. I have for like the last few months. And then they randomly appeared in my business email wanting to do a sponsorship and do a collaboration. And I'm like, that would have been so good. And that would have been really great, easy money of me being able to promote product that I already buy and already love. And now they're gonna pay me and I probably get free vitamins. And I'm like, ugh, it sucks to like not get that opportunity. But then at the same time, it's just like, I don't need it. I already buy them. I don't need to get a free thing that I can pay for easily. Like there's just like a sense of like missing out and like a sense of loss with that. And then along with the money, being a stay at home mom and having like my own money that I was getting from that was just like a very, a motivating factor. And like a very, like it feels very good as a stay at home parent to like 
have something that is only mine like that so yeah it's been a bummer to lose that it's not totally gone yet but it's dwindling every month for sure i do still have like a few videos up that generate money so it's like a small amount that still is coming in but i know that that's just going to keep dwindling and dwindling and then maybe i won't even be reaching the benchmarks to be monetized at all anymore and so like that will just be like something that's completely gone it is what it is but it is a bummer and i've always kind of felt like in the back of my mind like in case anything in our life ever ever went to shit like that would be kind of like my backup plan like that would be like if i had to be a single parent like that's is probably how i would make my money like this is probably what my job would be i'm very happily married and like there's no plan of like that ever happening but you know as a stay-at-home mom you kind of have to have like your contingency plans i guess in the back of your head and that's always been mine and i have to like let go of that i guess which i like to believe that like if I ever decided to like come back that people would still be here that it would like go okay but yeah it's it's interesting and then yeah like the last kind of like bummer downfall like con to this all is like just still feeling like I have so much to offer like in ways of like advice and like I have so many video ideas still and there's like so many times throughout the day where i'm like oh this would make such a good video or i have like so much good advice or so many things that i want to like put out there or i'll be like watching other videos watching other content i feel like fomo about it like i have this like fear of missing out of like oh like that looks so fun what they're doing or like oh i could like film this in like such a cool or unique way and yeah like having to just like feel those things and like let it go it's like i don't i don't need to be doing that that's just been like a con for sure like i feel like i have a lot to offer in the ways of like helpful videos like helpful advice and stuff but i'm just letting that go and I'm just letting it not be my time for any of this right now and i go back and forth so much where i feel like i will say like i'm permanently done like i'm not ever doing this again it is what it is like i'm not doing it and then i have times where i'm like okay well maybe i'm just gonna keep thinking about it and i might decide that i want to start making videos again and just like do it in a different way and like find a better balance or like find a way to do it in a more respectful way but for now i'm just sticking with being done for now just focusing everything on being a mom focusing on my babies giving all of my time and energy to them people change things change who knows where we'll go from here but for now that's where i'm at and that's what i'm doing so that's all of my thoughts that i can think of for now let me look at my notes make sure i talked about everything i would love to hear your guys's thoughts on all of this in the comments i know that this was like a little bit all over the place i guess i'll just go ahead and end this here so thank you guys so much for watching um i'll see you when i see you